in the deep cold of a Russian winter, when the Neva River turns into a playground for the people of St. Petersburg, they are choosing Russia's next leader. The Tsars built their capital here, confident their rule would last forever. It didn't, but power doesn't change hands often in these parts, and it's not about to now. Vladimir Putin! The man who's ruled for the last 18 years is up for re-election, but he's barely campaigning. A rally alongside Russia's medalists from the Winter Olympics is about all Vladimir Putin's bothering with, while a hand-picked selection of opposition candidates hold staged TV debates designed, it seems, to confirm their unsuitability for high office. The only real opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, is routinely bundled into police vans the moment he does anything political. If he was standing, this would be a real contest. But he isn't, because they banned him. Unlike the Tsars who built this city, Putin feels the need to at least pretend he is the democratic choice of his country. He bans those who might beat him. He only allows those to run who have no chance. But there is one opponent he can't control, and that is the power of abstention. Navalny's supporters are urging Russians to simply not vote. They know they can't beat Putin, but if they can lower the turnout, they believe they can undermine his legitimacy. In spray paint, they write the word boycott across election posters, all the time the police shadowing and watching. We want uh, to show uh, the Russian people that um, uh, there are no elections at all. That is why we uh, want them not to go for the elections. One candidate has criticised Putin, even calling him corrupt, Ksenia Sobchak. If you wonder why she has been given a free pass, consider that this is her late father, Anatoly Sobchak, once the mayor of St. Petersburg. And look who was his protégé and right-hand man back then. None other than a young Vladimir Putin. We are pretending that we are voting and power later pretending that they were elected. Maybe they're not puppets, but such candidates are allowed to be to show that there is a freedom of speech, freedom of elections and freedom of everything. As long as they have no chance of winning? Yes, she has no chance of winning, of course. Out on the icy Neva River, they spray paint the name Ksenia Sobchak, a protest the authorities are prepared to tolerate, but with one important proviso. We wrote a few days ago the slogan against Putin and police came in a couple of hours and they just removed it in a couple of minutes. And that sums up this election. Yes, you can support the other approved hopeless candidates, but dare to criticise Putin himself? No chance. James Mates, News at 10, St Petersburg.